the beaver, the hard-working, log-chewing champion of the animal kingdom. In the far-off year of 2027, the humans who built this world are long gone, and the beavers have inherited the earth. Using their keen noses, they have smelt the strong scent of opportunity, and will use all their skills to survive and rise above the land around them. These furry little builders can be identified by the color of their fur and the banner they fly. The folktale beaver tribe is well suited to both give and take from the land around them. If they're strong enough to become the new master of nature, a glorious Chutopia will await them all. The folktale beaver tribe starts its settlement in a group of eight adults and four kits. First, they munch away on the noble pine trees upon the plateau. They take special care not to disrupt the ground, ensuring the fertile soil can be used again in the future. Without proper homes to sleep in, their first night is spent under the stars. Here we see the leader of the beavers, gently dreaming of a future of food and trees and, more importantly, one where he reigns supreme over all others as a goddamn champion of beaver kind. As beavers have done for thousands of years, they construct mighty pumps and create large-scale farming operations to secure the resources they need to survive, lest they all perish painfully in the coming drought season. I think they do this. Don't really know. I'm, I'm just the voice reading the documentary papers. Do you think I knew for a split second before this any of this? No. The producers just dumped the script in a fat stack of hundreds in front of me. I don't know anything. The beavers have the uncanny ability to access the great beaver hive mind of building techniques, giving them all the skills required to secure their water source before the drought. It is thanks to this knowledge that the beaver is able to build what beavers are most known for. That's right, you know it, the beaver's iconic dam pulley based floodgate system. Despite this rush in the early stages of the beaver settlement, they pull through thanks to the strength of their teeth and the direction of their illustrious beaver leader. Under their leader's direction, a beavocracy is established, and plans are made to expand the settlement further and improve their quality of life. For the next few years, things do not develop too much for the Folktale tribe. Let's fast forward a bit and check up on them, shall we? Thanks to mass industrialization, the beavers have expanded into a thriving community and elected their leader to be their beaver overlord. Beavers that are loyal to the beaver lord are rewarded and allowed to live close to the river in comfort while the less trustworthy beavers are sentenced to work in the Deadlands. Here, they collect steel from the remains of the previous civilization and serve as an example to the beaver lord's enemies that he is not to be crossed. Very soon, this humble servant of beaver kind's dreams of a Chutopia will be fully realized. It is thanks to advances in beaver technology that the Folktale tribe has evolved beyond initially expected. The invention of the printing press for the beavers has heralded a new information age. Neighbors are taught to mistrust each other, as thanks to the newly printed Timber Times, warning that they could actually be the beaver's natural enemy, the platypus in disguise. An emplatypostor, if you will. Soon enough, soulless robots are created from the timber in order to bolster the defenses of the beaver lord. These lumbering soldiers have been placed in workspaces populated by the rebellious beavers, forcing them to work day and night. The crafty beaver lord does this to ensure that there is no time for these mischievous beavers to work against him. This one here is being forced to make explosives, another skill that comes to the beavers naturally. But just like their fight against nature, these safeguards don't always last. A small pack of young beavers becomes restless and revolt against the beaver lord, resulting in a fight for dominance. Thanks to a combination of skill, experience, and large unstoppable robots, the Beaver Lord prevails. With the battle over, the aggressors are banished to the flooding grounds to slowly and painfully die. I can't believe this is an actual thing they do. Let me just double check my notes. Yeah, okay, that is actually what they do. My god. Yet even with this, the Beaver Lord's challenges are not over. He has now become even more paranoid than usual and creates even more Enforcer Drones for his safety. Not only this, he orders the construction of a personal sanctuary upon the highest peak and confiscates many valuable foods and resources. His demands of constant tribute make the rest of the working beavers restless, even more so when he declares himself the God Emperor of all beaver kind. Alas, 
The mighty God Emperor of Beaver Kind's comeuppance is delivered by the very material he used to deliver fear into his subjects. Eventually, the beavers steal a large quantity of dynamite and use it to sabotage his operations. The hard-working beavers use this to not only cut off the bridge to the robotics division, but to separate the beaver lord from the rest of society, dooming him to a slow and painful demise as supplies run out. Forced to watch the world he built move on without him from on high, he remains isolated from both his people and his dreams of a promising Utopia. By cutting off the pathway to the robotics center, the noble folktale beavers have doomed half their tribe to starvation. Burdened with the horrors of what they've done, the plateau beavers will fall into a dark age and eventually vanish altogether. Sadly, it seems that these humble beaver workers could not make it. So let's check up on a different beaver tribe. Specifically, the Iron Teeth Beaver Clan. These noble, strong beavers have been relentless in their pursuit of science and technology. Amongst all the beaver clans, these beavers are the closest in behavior to the mysterious humans that came before them. Let's take a look at how they're going right now. Oh! They, they perished. <laughs> 